Hello, hello, everybody! Welcome back to another episode of FC Andorra. Yeah, we're back at it with four seasons in Andorra. Our fourth one should be our most toughest one yet because last episode I just felt like I wanted to cancel the whole series altogether because oh boy, we were just shocking. That's the worst defense I ever seen. And I do apologize for two things. One, if the video seemed short from last two episodes. And two, the fact that I sound an absolute bummer. It's just, if you watched it, then you would understand how poorly we played. And just the Cup of the Ray finals are just, and lost a cup final in the world, to be honest with you. But that, that one really hurt. So I have to make up from it. And looking at the squad, I think it is time for change. I don't know what change that's necessary, but I think the defence needs improving. But PK, on the other hand, didn't think nothing was improving at all with only 33 million. Only giving us, what, about 5 million more than last season? So I had to do something. I had to think outside the box. So let's hope the signings could really help me out here. So I had to go to someone who was constantly rejected in his life. Barcelona didn't want him. Juventus didn't want him. And now Liverpool didn't want him. But guess what? Andorra will want you. With both arms open, I welcome Arthur to the squad as our first signing. And then I found this Polish striker, which, eh, not bad. I wonder whose region that can be. So, welcome to the squad. It's Dominic. Oh. You know what? I'm just going to call you Dominic, mate. Before I butcher your surname. I had to pray long and hard for signings because it wasn't going to come anytime sooner. And boy, someone was listening to me as the Lord himself has welcomed me a gift. And that gift is Jesus Corona. And boy, that last name reminds me I need to go beer shopping. And speaking of shopping, I found another goalkeeper since, well, the Andorian number one needed to get a little bit of competition as well as that. We've only got one bloody goalkeeper. 16 million pounds for the Brazilian, which I can pronounce the surname to. So big thumbs up. I love him already. So Andrew, welcome to the squad. And then it happened. So with the think gone, I needed another striker. 45 million pounds, said yep, sure, and someone I desperately loved in my Norwich rebuild career mode last FIFA. I thought brilliant, I need a reduce in the striker. So Luis Opita, welcome to FC Andorra. And heck, we still had money to spend. 39 million pounds for another defender, but not in Spain. We're going up north to our neighbours in France. For our new centre back, Pierre Kululu. Then we still had 23 millions to spend, and I thought, heck, another can replacement. Give Caesar Castello a little bit of competition. So, welcome to the squad. Another long name. I regret, I just, I need to start buying plays with names I can pronounce to save me from being butchered in the comments. So, Adu Batuanu Isakuna? It's a hookah, I want to say here's a hookah. Well, anyway, welcome, last signing. Welcome to the squad. And that is the squad. With the Fink's departure, I had nothing to do with it. I think it was about time to go. He did show his quality for us, but he was slipping down the card. And I just felt like it was time for him to just say goodbye before he lived long to see himself become the villain. So Lewis Opera is going to be his replacement. But he wasn't just the only sale, as we did have other sales. Oscar, Nino, as well as that, uh, well, January transfer signing from last episode. Sergio is gone as well for 30 million, so heck, you can have him. So that's going to be the squad going into our fourth season. Let's see how we do well in our second campaign in La Liga. So our first game back in La Liga, and it's only against Genoa. Oh, boys, I want to get a good start to the second half of the season, not fuck up. And especially, speaking of fuck ups, um, our record new signing, our striker, his name is Lewis Opita, so I pronounced his name wrong, so apologies about that. Hope you don't take it to grudge, 
and let's just hope we get a good start against Genoa. And you know, if this was Palmeiro, I would really take this team under consideration. But sadly, I'm not. As a good interception from our new signing Kalulu, managed to lay off to a start of a good counter-attack. And who else to assist them? Cesar Castello into Luis Opeta. Yes, I got that name right. And he opens up with the goal. The first counter-attack and Luis Opeta really showing good effort. And Andorra's course as we make it 1-0. But boys, oh no, he wasn't done. He just only got started. As yes, he followed that up with a brace. And then the third, yes, third, Patrick gets himself a 3-0 win and a hat-trick. A man in the match performance for Luis Opeta. Man, we've got ourselves a hell of a signing. But come on, that was just a little Genoa side. How will they do against Atletico Madrid? Or more importantly, Jan Ablak. As they seemed like they were going to go for a counter-attack. But again, the new signings working well. As they put pressure, good interception from Arthur led to another counter-attack. Now, Luis Opeta, let's see how he do. Oh, Black caused us real pain. The shot, and it goes in. Yes, Luis Opeta's first shot against Jan or Black makes it 1-0. And another win. Boys, sign of the season already. We packed our bags and travel to Qatar. Hey. Ah, but just forget about that because again, Lewis Opita, he, he's, he's got himself a name of the title of a video already because gosh almighty, he's got himself a brace. But seriously, the rest of the team is lacking. Who else is going to score goals around here? Oh, not oh, two. Oh, thanks, that buddy. Thanks. 3 0, on to the next game. As the air in Andorra smelt like revenge as we took on Atletico Club. You remember last season when they smashed us 2 0? Well, this is payback, especially with Luis Opeta in loads of space, he's at it again. Oh my gosh, no offense to the thing, but he's a thing of the past, especially how Luis Opeta's form has been so far. And especially didn't help for Atletico Club being down to 10 men, we were able to catch him on a counter attack, but Luis Opeta played the assist off, wanted to be Santa Claus for a day, and Elias with the second goal. Revenge, so, uh, to be fair, I don't really think that's much served. Okay, now revenge has been dealt. And speaking of revenge, hello, Real Batiste. We hope you have a terrible... Wait a minute, they're on a counter-attack. Okay, yeah, Real Batiste were our next opponents, but they seem to walk past my defense. One, two, three, pass, and not even Andrew could save that shot. Ah, oh, gracious. Is it me with their kit right now? It feels like I'm playing the Ivory Coast. I'm just saying. Oh, but still, either way, I absolutely got trampled from that counter-attack. Which, to be fair, I'm not really concerned. Because our new man up front, Lewis Opita, gave us the equaliser. And why am I not complaining, to be fair? He's just, he's just that damn good. But I was praying for a winner against Real Batiste. Especially all the pain they caused me and who else to answer my prayers but jesus corona with the winner oh yeah beauty the lord listened to me and absolutely bagged us the winner but sadly ea wasn't listening to me because they scored real batiste seconds later and then a third goal for real batiste which was an absolute scrambled dog pile oh gosh not 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 good at all 3-2 three, three, loss, and we've lost, uh, we lost again to Real Batiste. And that loss really affected the team's performance, because travelling to Valencia, and even though we signed their striker, they absolutely got a replacement. There's Benjamin Sacco with a shot, and Andrew couldn't save it, even if he tried. Within 15 minutes, the Valencia side really tend to forget about him. But let me just take wonders right here, because Cesar Castello... Literally Andorran Messi over here, but forget about the Messi part. It's all Andorran as he able to give us an equaliser of an expiry run right here. But I wanted to remind Valencia about their former striker. So let's just remind them who their main striker was because Luis Opita managed to get two goals. But he didn't celebrate. He was showing the utmost respect to his former side and not celebrating. But Valencia didn't really take that as respectful meaning. They took that as disrespectful as they got two final goals as well and ending a 3-3 draw. Seriously, we're dropping crucial points here. 
Oh, so moving on to Osorna, I want to say. I'm not going to butcher that name, but I'll butcher their defense instead. Drum into them, but Elche was a different result because I could not seriously get past their damn keeper. Seriously, who the heck is this keeper? Jesus Christ! Okay, fair enough. But it didn't matter anyway because a one-on-one -on -one chance for Diego Morano Jr. makes another win for us and ending the match highlights. Whew, I'll take that. Let's go to the live game. So live game, uh, we're going to be taking on Barcelona, which we still haven't got a win against yet, which kind of irritates me because the last two games we played with them last season, we lost. Yeah, yeah, we got a drum in our first ever game against them at Stadium National and then at the new camp, didn't help no better as Barcelona still beat us. So this is more like a redemption story. We've got a decent changes. Is that going to affect us today? Gets a much better Barcelona side? Well, let's find out. Barca, welcome to Andorra again. Let's hope this time you have a terrible trip here. Boys, we should be absolutely at least getting a top top draw to performance right here. We've shown good results on the pitch. Luis Opita being a man on fire. And let's run through their defence. Come on, FC Andorra. Let's wave that Andorran flag with pride. Sensio, wait a minute. Out of all the players you lot to sign, you signed Asensio, a Real Madrid player. Oh, God, Figo 2.0. And it's a good sackle from Quinzema leaving Julian Alvarez crying on the pitch. We're going to catch him on the counter attack. Barca fans are complaining. Players are complaining. But either way, plays it across. Lewis Opita's shot got saved. The rebounding header goes in. Um, oh, gosh. We strike first, taking a very, very surprising lead against Barcelona. They're still complaining because Julian Alvarez is still hurt on the other side of the pitch. But we take what is necessary. 1-0 to FC Andorra. Barca, and that's the striker they brought on. Do I know him? I do not, I believe. But he's got a load of space and a through ball. Good, Kaluna going to get there. Good Lord. Vigo 2.0 almost got a goal against me. Gonzalez, Pedri. Through balls now, come on. Can't have them. Through balls are lovely from Fatty, but great tackle. But he got tackled again. Remember, attackers in FIFA 23 have got 90 tackling against your defender. They're going to either way. Andrew's able to duck for cover and save it, though. Corner. I should be, instead of complaining, and focusing. As I believe Frankie Dion's going to play it short to Figo. Into, oh, come on. No. Oh, good interception. Pass it away. Tackled. No off. Referee's not giving a damn. But Luis Opata is not giving a damn anyway. He's gone for a counter attack. He's been the pass of the defenders and scores. Barcelona, how would you like to eat dust? Hug me, brother. That's more like it. Luis Opata, the main event of FC Andorra, makes it 2 0 against Barcelona with a great counter attack. Rangi Dion. And Barca are rattled. Rattled like a rattlesnake. Trapped in a box. That's good interception from Quinzema. But able to get past into Figo. Pedri through ball. The strike and a goal. They were going to get past us sooner or later. And it's 2-1. Barcelona, they're not done yet. We've still got a match on our way here. Elias. Come on. Plays it to Arthur. Arthur, former Barcelona player themselves. Come on. Into Luis Opeta. Got shot. Got saved. And Destegan is going to be absolutely hating Opita after this. But we've got a corner. Now let's just not try your best to get him on the counter. Oh, open the air. Diego heads it. Elias spots Dion Bia, who's onside and catches Marcus Destegan off his line. It's 3-1. Captain El Capitano Dion 3-1 doubling our lead. We're just giving as much as we can against Barca. And boy, they are hating it. As they kick off from the spot, half time is gone. I forgot it's nearly half time. Like I said, that's the hurtful goal just before half time. But nine times out of ten, we're absolutely kicking their ass on the counter attack. But that one percent is literally Barcelona getting some fight back in this. But we need to close that down in the second half. Barca, second half. Literally just kicked off here in the offwards part. Fatty, sorry, they're getting close to my defense. I need to focus. Brain into focus mode. Oh, good. Oh, just tackled of ease. Pedri scores. I, well, why do I say? Why do I say these things? It just my centre back literally at shit or at artificial field, 
And Pedri with the goal. 3-2. Barca are closing the gap. Arthur. Come on. Trying to, we're trying to get that second goal. The insurance goal. Mario Hernandez. Plays it across into Caesar. Caesar Dumbia. Dumbia shot. And it's a good save from De Stegen. Oh, come on. Just need to get that crucial goal. Corner for Barca. Not good. Especially if they pass it short and dribble around my defence. Which seems to be a common thing here. Uh, no. Dribbles round. Shot. Good block from Quinzema. Come on. Andrew misses. Is it? Ick. No. Oh, thank goodness. All right. Diego. Trying to catch him on the counter-attack. He needs support. Definitely needs support. And especially with that bad pass, he's not going to get any. Over the top through ball. Fatu shot. And just over. Oh, my God. That bad pass almost kicked us where it hurts. I need to make some changes here. Into Pedri, Pedri, 1-2, oh good, interception from Dumbia, he's everywhere, just like N'Golo Kante, Montez, our substitute, into Dumbia, into Cesar Castello, Luis Opita, on the hat-trick, brilliant run, and that's just absolutely fantastic, completes his hat-trick, Barcelona will be getting a restraining order against this guy, he's running wings round your defence, and boy he's going to show, leaving with the match ball. Corner, taken short. Didn't really do much right there, to be fair. Not really into no one. As Herrera gets tackled, crying out loud. Don't want to get in there. Nope. Oh, boy. Cesar Castello. Through balls into Hernandez. Oh, no. Come on. Uh, to be fair, I shouldn't be worrying that much now since... Oh, God. Maybe I shouldn't be worrying at all. As literally Cesar Castello makes a great ball into Luis Opita with the dink. And, oh, that's just out of order. The stake can be the one getting the restraining order against him because he's just, just caused mayhem. Literally, he woke up and chose violence against Barcelona's defence. And boy, this proves it. Kalulu into Montez. Now, Barcelona is a big done and dusty game. But boy, it's going to be a lot worse. Over the top through ball. Luis Opita. Why, why do I have to say anything else? It's just him. And it's just him alone. Game over, Barcelona. Game over. Through board. Oh gosh. Barcelona. Why do I why do I sound worried? Because oh how do you like artif artificial pitch right there? Full time is over. And boys, just you deserve that match ball. As he won't be welcoming Barcelona anytime, but boy, he's more than welcome here in Andorra. Six two win over Barcelona. Sweet sweet revenge. But let's see how things are doing in January the 1st, if our results have been so far for us. Wow. Um, I knew we were doing good, but not that damn good. First place. Woo. Wow, we're really performing like a Leicester City over here, underdog story. But to be fair, I couldn't complain any much sooner because this squad has literally been fantastic. From the start to the beginning, we'll get to the main man later. Defence, been real improvement. Andrew's made, de made decent saves. I may have not shown it, but he's actually been quite good. Kalulu, by gosh, one of the best defenders I've played in this game so far. Absolutely stands out above the rest. Midfield, been decent. Arthur's set himself well here, which is good for him. And can we go up to the front three? Elias and Diego, I'm sorry, but just the main man right here, the main event. Luis Opita has been phenomenal. How on earth has he caused so much headaches for defense? It's beyond me. He settled here well. And I'm, again, I'm sorry, Fink, but you've become a thing of the past here because Opita is stealing the show. And will this continue in the next episode? We've got a real good title fight on our way here, boys. And will we be able to keep up or will we slip? you got to find out in the next episode. If you enjoy this one, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. We've got plenty more career modes videos coming up shortly for you. And I'll see you lot later.